Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual Energetic Guidance. Um, I thought I would do a smaller reading just for a bonus reading um, for something else to post for you. So uh, this one will be for Taurus. Um, I'll post this in the first week of for the first week of Feb. Um, or around yeah, maybe maybe the first week in Feb. It was just a very unexpected, but I might do it. I might post this in the first week of Feb. Um, I'm going to pick a card from this deck, uh, my Wisdom of the Oracle, one from the Romance for you, and I'll pick one, like I normally do, from the Guardian Angel deck as well. Um, we'll do some tarot. I'll just pick three or four cards, probably four because I like four. It's an even number. Um, and we'll just get a bit more information for you. Just do a quick reading. Or I could do one for past, present, future. Kind of making it up as I go. Maybe I'll do past, present, future. I'll pick three cards. But I'll get one from here. So Taurus. What does Taurus need? Thinking. You've got the thinker. And imagine. So we'll start with the um, thinker card. So the think, this is the thinker card here. So this is all about strategy, being analytical, logical. Um, if it's in a relationship, maybe the love is not logical, but... It's good to have things in common with somebody. Um, it's also maybe time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. And if there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, you know, there's other people that are in the sea, other fish in the sea, as they say. Um, don't try to force something to work if it's not if it's not working. Um, and, you know, when people show you, they say to you, you know, oh, you know, this is the person I am. But then they're showing you different by their actions, you know, listen to or I guess trust their actions, you know, like listen to more than what they're just saying, um, you know. And <clears throat> also if it's about, you know, your career, um, maybe you need to make some sort of calculated action, um, you know, plan a strategy, focus on the steps that you're going to take to get to whatever it is you want to achieve, um, you know, so make sure you... So I guess write down what you want so you can signal to the universe, this is what I'm after. Because you need to have a plan. It's all about having plans for your life. So yeah, I feel like you've got the thinker. On the bottom, you've got the imagine. Um, so this is the imagine. And this is turning whatever you imagine for your life into reality. It's about manifestation and visualization, those kind of things. Um, if it's in a relationship, it's, you know, easy to daydream about, um, another and, you know, that might be nice. It's, but you know, you need to do more than just dream about it. So you've got to turn the daydream into reality. Um, so yeah, it's all about stepping out of your comfort zone and manifesting, I guess, what it is you want. Make sure you actually put out there to the universe, what attributes you want in a person as well. Um, be very specific. Don't write, I don't want. Make sure you do write what you do want. Um, and because that's very important. I feel like you're putting out to the universe, this is what I want. Um, so that's on the bottom. Uh, you've also, um, if, it's in pros oh, if it's in prosperity, um, regarding prosperity or your career, um, make sure you, as I said, you, you are very clear on what you want to create um, and, and what it means to you to be prosperous. Um, you know, imagine that perfect career that you want and act as if you've actually got that. So it's all about manifesting and, you know, here you are thinking and here you are manifesting. Taurus need to know. Maybe you're coming out of a period where you had retreated, you were a bit like the hermit mode. I feel like maybe you're coming out of that. Reconciliation isn't really on the cards though um, because this person is not the one because you have this is the one in reverse. So somebody, yeah, there's not really a chance of reconciliation. You need to actually release your ex, um, which is here as well. Um, I feel like you're not in communication with this person or, you know, whoever this person is. Um, but have hope because true love is coming, which is great. 
And pick one from this deck. Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Mm, that was quick and easy. Six of thought. Peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed. And now you can see your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. So the Six of Thought is the same as the Six of Swords. So yeah, you're moving on from something. You're releasing the baggage. You've got a new perspective. So that's great. All right. Let's get oh, on the bottom as well. You've got the helper of action, which is the same as the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is all about um, being it. Oh, hold on. I can read it. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It'd be great if you could take the time to make a plan first. As I said, with the whole strategy thing, there was that strategy. You need to make a plan. You probably don't have the time. Get busy. Follow your instincts and have fun. Um, you may meet somebody. You may meet somebody, or you may be somebody who is self-assured, capable, enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. As I said, it all comes back to having a plan. You also need to put out there what it is you want though, to get to manifest. So I feel like everything's kind of going with what I'm, what I've already said. Okay, we'll get three cards for Taurus. Positive movement forward. Oh, you got two that came out. One more. One more for Taurus. Thank you. So it looks like you've got positive movement forward, which is about you mastering your craft, whether it, whatever career it is for you. You need to make sure you like your employment, but it's also about you winding any knowledge. It's all about you know training, that kind of thing. In a relationship, it can also be about you um, maybe widening your knowledge about a person or about something they're doing that you didn't know about. I always find that that card can mean either or, but we'll find out. Tell me more. Taurus. It's going to take some inner strength. Um, I feel like somebody you thought was going to be your wishes fulfilled actually is just not happening. Um, I feel like that all that gave you was dissatisfaction. So, you know, you're going to need inner strength to move on from that. Um, but I feel like you are moving on um, with the Five of Cups and I also feel like you've got the Moon card. So the Moon card is about trusting your intuition and also, um, you know, seeing past the illusion of people or, you know, you might have anxiety, but you are moving on. So, um, which is great. Make sure you put up your boundaries, though, with the Nine of Wands. You know, you are resilient, you have courage, but make sure you put up your boundaries. Right, then we have spiritual strength and love begins, the Ace of Cups in reverse. So Ace of Cups in reverse is about um, maybe hesitant to open your heart after you've been through something where I said you thought was going to give you your wishes fulfilled, but didn't actually end up that way. So I feel like you, um, yeah, I feel like that, that just didn't happen. But I, at the same time, um maybe you need to be a bit more selfish or maybe this person was selfish or it was all about their ego could be either or then we have spiritual strength which is the exact same card i just read to you with the nine of wands but it's reversed so this time it's like know that you have everything inside you to get through something you may find that you struggle you may feel overwhelmed um but you can do it so tell me more for taurus Yeah, you were left out in the cold by this person, and all they, it, you felt un, you felt unfulfilled, you felt bored. Um, you know, you may need to do some contemplation, but I feel like you were bored in the situation. They pro, they could have also had three other people on the go, or they were gossiping about you, one or the other. Um, but yeah, so you were left out in the cold by this person, and you need to quit the victim mentality though you know you move on you need to move on from something that was like that you've also got the two of wands so this is about you assessing your life making some future planning may, making some decisions you might travel as well for that uh lastly you've got stand your ground stand your ground is um in reverse so 
maybe you're feeling, as I said, you're feeling very overwhelmed, you're feeling like you are exhausted, you're feeling indecisive, you know, but maybe you need to stand your ground, maybe you haven't. Maybe you haven't stood your ground with a situation or a person. Give me more of a Taurus. Yeah, so you need your boundaries up, as I said. This is the same card as the one that fell out before, and here it is again, but now it's upright. Again, it was upright a minute ago too. So I feel like you definitely need to stand your ground, but you know, it's it's like have persistence, have resilience, have courage, have strength, put up your boundaries, um, don't let someone walk all over you. Um, I feel like you do that. I feel like what you want is the the you know be all end all you want the happy family you want the money you want the security you want all of that um but i feel like here you have you've got the happy this is the happy family card um i feel like that's what you wanted and that's why you keep on keeping on like rather than you know you want to avert the disaster you don't you fear the change you need to work on you but I feel like you are averting that because you think that this this could have given you your happy family life. And I just don't think that that's the case. Yeah. I feel like you had five of wands, which is all about conflict and disagreements. You might be going through court with this person. And, you know, you feel it makes you feel very down. It doesn't make you... It's not like it's the opposite of the sun card, which is the most positive card in the deck, you know? Um, but I feel like you're weighing up your options, but this person you've got to know is a fraud. They're just a liar. They're not a good person. They haven't treated you well. Um, but I feel like you, you could have a new relationship coming in, but I feel like you need to do some work on you first. And... Yeah, you're feeling anxious, you're feeling depressed, you've got nightmares going on. So I feel like it's not a great situation to be in. Um, and it's not offering you what you want. But at the same time, you've got the um, hangman in reverse. You're just stalling. You're stalling, making a decision, you're resisting, all that sort of thing. And maybe that's because it affects your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is, is what's all about your emotions and desires and sexuality. And you need to make sure you nurture yourself, know your matter. But I feel like if it's about your emotions and desires, I mean, you know, obviously you obviously you love this person. So, you know, you might have even been married to this person and therefore you don't want to break the cycle. But, you know, you're doing some future planning. You are going to go through an emotional loss, you know. So, as I said, I don't think it's going to end well if it hasn't already. Um, but that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope it resonates if it does. I mean, it's also letting you know here that peaceful times, the storm's passing. So whatever you've gone through, I feel like you've already gone through it. And I feel like this is either just either you're going through it or, or gone through it. But I feel like this is letting you know that, you know, peaceful times, the storm's passing and things are going to start getting better for happier times. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. But anyway, that's what I have for you, and I hope it resonates. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.